Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever whatever time it is for you. Uh, starting erosion, uh, there are four agents of erosion. Uh, they are the two G's and the two W's, gravity, glaciers, wind, and water. We are going to be, uh, in this chapter, talking about gravity, glaciers, and wind. Water is so huge, it gets its own chapter. So we'll get to that when we get to the next chapter, chapter 9. Reminder, erosion is when we wear down and move material, and deposition is when we drop that material when uh, that agent of erosion loses its energy of motion. It cannot carry something forever. Uh, the wind might die. Uh, the river might uh, you know, empty into a uh, larger body of water, and it's going to drop that material. The first agent we're going to be talking about uh, are called mass movements. Uh, it's kind of weird. We call it water erosion. We call it wind erosion. We call it gra uh, glacier, excuse me, glacial erosion. When it comes to gravity, we do not call it gravity erosion. It is called a mass movement. And that is when material gets pulled downhill because of gravity. This house is built on the side of a hill, and you can obviously see what has happened to it as gravity has pulled down that, uh, that house. So there are six types of mass movements. Uh, you should obviously be writing these down. These are your notes. Uh, again, mass movement being erosion caused by gravity. They are creep, mud flow, and landslide. Uh, creep is a very, very, very slow mass movement. It's the most common, actually. You don't really pay attention to it because it happens so slow Till all of a sudden maybe a tree falls over or a uh, fence is uh, falling over. I'll show you a couple pictures in a little bit. Uh, common from... Uh, uh, in our area from like uh, ice wedging as, as the ground freezes and thaws a lot and loosens up the soil on the top and that moves faster than the bottom layers. Mud flow, uh, the land flows like mud as you get a really dry area, a lot of rain all of a sudden and that, that soil can't soak up all that water and it just washes everything away. And a landslide is when a section of, of the land just breaks off and it just slides right downhill. The, land, the name tells you what it is. The other three are slump, avalanche, and rock falls. Uh, slump is just kind of a, I call it Jenga. The top is not supported by the bottom anymore and just kind of slumps down. It just drops. An avalanche is probably the most famous of these. This is uh, often in Hollywood movies of up in the snowy uh, mountains and a big giant um, landslide of snow um, comes flying down the hill. And then the rock fall again, one of those, the name tells you what it is, literally rock falls. Uh, you might see uh, some uh, signs that say that. Uh, you don't see that so much around here because we don't have a lot of rocks, but you go up to the UP or... Go down south in a Tennessee or Kentucky, you'll see signs like that, and literally the rock is breaking and falling, generally because of ice wedging, but there's other ways as well. Just like factors of weathering, there are factors that affect mass movements. Uh, the weight of the object, materials resistance. Some material is not going to want to break as easily. Uh, a trigger, maybe an earthquake, maybe a person... Uh, maybe a heavy rain, something obviously triggers uh, the material to go downhill. Water, of course, is always a biggie. We're going to talk about water erosion, but uh, again, you get a lot of rain, a ton of water, and that's going to cause things to move. People, of course, uh, we build in areas where we shouldn't, and uh, we're not very smart about things. A big thing I try to get across to you guys is understand that we can slow things down, but we can never eliminate gravity. Uh, there are things we can do to help, but understand in the end, we certainly um, cannot stop erosion. Here's an example of something we can do to try to slow things down. Uh, we'll put fences or nets up, try to catch things. Understand, again, we can't stop the erosion. We're just trying to slow it down and obviously keep a lot of it off the road. This is what I meant by a net. Obviously, again can't stop things, but we certainly uh, can help slow things down. Other examples, you'll see this uh, around our area by the dunes. Uh, there literally will be signs, stay off the dune grass, they're trying to protect the uh, environment. They don't want dunes to uh, cause erosion, and sure enough, that's exactly what it says, stay off the dunes. Because, unfortunately, this is what can happen to our dunes. 
Uh, we're going to talk more about the water aspect of that because the water levels are so high right now in Lake Michigan. But certainly, people uh, that uh, build up on dunes uh, have run the risk of, of issues of, of dune erosion. And that certainly is an example of a mass movement. All right, some examples of some of these things. Uh, creep, uh, again, is very, very slow. But again, the top layer is moving faster than the bottom, and you're going to cause things to slightly bend as, as time goes on. Very basic example of this, uh, you got a fence built on the side of a hill, and that fence is leaning over time. Obviously, it was not built like that, but uh, over time, gravity has pulled that down. Uh, again, the name Mud Flow tells you what it's doing. It is flowing. Uh, it's mud. It's, it's heavy in water, and it's washing that all away. Here's a picture of an example of a mud flow in which uh, it just washed down the side of a hill. Uh, on the other hand, think about sliding down a slide, uh, literally taking uh, your entire body and sliding down uh, downhill because of it. And that's exactly what this land si slide was. Uh, a big giant section of land just slid right down this hill. And unfortunately, uh, people had built houses up there. Just another example of a slide, in this case more, much more rocky, but certainly, uh, again, all that material slid down a hill. As I said earlier, sorry this picture is kind of blurry, but uh, a chunk of uh, land just kind of slumps down. Uh, again, Jenga, it's not being supported at the bottom, and this thing just drops. And sure enough, example of this, it wasn't being supported, and this whole thing just dropped down in one swift motion. A uh, quick, simple picture. Again, uh, I'm sure you know what an avalanche is. Up in the mountains, uh, often in the movies, big, giant uh, material of snow comes flying down a hill. And rockfall, as I said earlier, uh, chunks of rock get broken off, and gravity, of course, is going to bring it downhill. And here is an actual picture of uh, some rockfall. I told you earlier that you'll see falling rock signs, and here's a couple of funsy ones that... Uh, show actually uh, that going on. Uh, this one obviously was knocked over. This one didn't get knocked over but it certainly came true. Uh, that is one heck of a rock. Uh, certainly uh, came true that rocks certainly fall in this case. Um, just another example of a mass movement. Okay that's it for now. Uh, we will see you again. Bye bye.